I've been looking for a wireless lavalier set for quite some time now. Specifically, a wireless lavalier set with two transmitters and one receiver. Luckily, I found the one that will surely fit my needs. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2. And this is the updated version. But before anything else, let's roll the intro, shall we? Hey, what's up guys? Rana Dinshal and boy, thank you so much for coming back here on my channel. This is the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2. And this is the updated version. Why Kit 2? Because it has two transmitters and one receiver. I needed this because most of the time, I always end up in a situation where I shoot an interview scene where two people are talking. And yeah, this solves my problem. Before we dive into my review of the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2, I just want to clarify that this video was not sponsored by Saramon. They didn't send me this unit. I went out and purchased it myself. So I'm gonna be reviewing this kit from a buyer's standpoint. And if you wanna know how it sounds like, you are hearing it now. I'm using one of the transmitters. And just like my other review videos, we won't go to the features yet because I wanna show you first what's in the box. Inside the box, you got the quick guide, a warranty card, stickers, a shoe mount adapter, three belt clips, two omnidirectional lavalier microphones, a 3.5 locking type plug audio cable, a dual XLR to 3.5 locking type audio cable, two body pack transmitters or TX9s, and lastly, one portable receiver or RX9. The Ceremonic QW Mic 9 is a flexible wireless microphone system because the receiver can receive two transmitters at the same time and it's expandable. You can connect Ceremonic's wireless XLR transmitters as well. And what's good about that is you can buy them separately. So if you have this kit now and you need to connect an XLR transmitter in the future, you can buy the XLR transmitter later and upgrade your kit. The first thing you notice when you pick up these guys is the build quality. The transmitters and the receiver has that high quality feel, all metal construction. But keep in mind that it has some weight to it. The transmitters and the receiver has an easy to read backlit LCD display. The buttons are also well placed. To power these units, you need to use two AA batteries. And it's nice to know that out of the box, these are already connected. I didn't have to do anything. I just installed the batteries and they just worked. This kit also includes two omnidirectional lavalier microphones. And what I like about those microphones is that they have locking threads. So there's no way these mics would get unplugged. Speaking of locking threads, the receiver also have these locking threads for the line out jack and the headphone out. Yeah, you heard me right. The receiver has a headphone out. So if your camera doesn't have a headphone out to monitor your audio, you will love this receiver. The UW Mic 9 relies on UHF operation compared to the Roadlink lavalier set that uses Wi-Fi connection. The UHF connection of the UW Mic 9 is more reliable. This system has 96 selectable channels in two groups and it operates in 500 megahertz frequency range. On paper, the UW Mic 9 has an operating distance of 330 feet or 100 meters in open areas. But of course, if obstacles are present, the distance shortens to 200 feet or 60 meters. This kit also has an auto scan feature. So if you are in a spot where heavy interference is present, the auto scan feature will save you. If you ever get disconnected to the transmitters, the old school infrared syncing is the way to go. Now, let's talk about the user interface. It is really easy to operate. You can navigate through the settings using the plus and minus buttons on the right side. On the transmitter, you can see the battery status, 
what channel you are on, what group you are in, and of course, the frequency. What's good about the transmitter is you can set the RF power setting. You can change it to high, middle, and low. The highest setting is designed to overcome heavy interference. The low setting saves battery power. You can also mute the transmitters by pressing the power button once. A red light indicator will blink to let you know that the transmitter is muted. Now, let's take a look at the receiver. On the main screen, you can see the summary of your settings. As you navigate with the plus and minus buttons, you can adjust group A and group B's properties, like the volume and channels. The volume levels can be set in increments from 0 to 30, but for me, 25 is the sweet spot. Now, here's the tricky part, the output mode. It has two output modes, stereo and mono. Mono is really easy to understand. When you use the mono output, the audio from both of your transmitters will be mixed down into one audio track. Let's talk about the stereo output. When you are using both the transmitters at the same time and you are using the 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable on your receiver, your audio will be split into two channels the left and the right channels. Group A will be on the right channel and group B will be on the left channel. Now, I want you to listen carefully because this is the reason why this kit that I'm using right now is the updated version. This kit came with a dual XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. In the first version of this kit, aside from having a yellow sticker around the LCD screen, and this version has a black overall finish, the first version only had a single XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. As we all know, an XLR jack can only carry one channel of audio signal. So if your output is stereo, and you use that single XLR jack to 3.5 millimeter jack, you cannot separate the left and right channels. In this version, the updated version, as I've said earlier, you'll get a dual XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. This time, you can separate the audio from both of your transmitters to left and right channels. How cool is that? Just a splitter cable. But of course, that's only applicable to field mixers because you need two XLR inputs to separate the left and right channels. Another new feature of the updated version is the ability to adjust the microphone sensitivity on the transmitters with increments from 0 to 12. So now you can independently adjust the microphone input volume. Let's talk about the audio quality. As I've said earlier, I am using one of the transmitters throughout this video. And this is me not talking. Now this is how it sounds like when I'm outdoors. I'm using the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2. One channel is in a high frequency range and the other one is in a low frequency range. So you are now hearing both the transmitters at the same time. Tell me how it sounds like in the comment section down below. Now I'm gonna walk away from the camera and test the range. Now I'm testing both the transmitters at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ramden Shal. And now I'm using the Ceremony UW Mic 92. I'm right, I'm 50 meters away from the camera and I'm, and I'm now walking backwards. 50 meters away from the camera. I am using or testing the Ceremony UW Mic 92 signal or distance i'm about 100 meters away from the camera right now and i'm testing the ceremonic uw mic 9 still walking backwards i know you can and a little bit too far away from the camera right now this is way past the 100 meter distance but i am now still walking away walking backwards so i'm gonna go walk back to the camera. Now to Monic UW9 Kit 2. I know I am losing breath because it's hot outside. I'm about 50 meters away from the camera. I am now walking back to the camera. I'm now like 40 meters away from the camera testing out the Ceremony QW Mic 9 Kit 2 with both the transmitters 
check 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 muting muting group a muting group a muting group a muting group a while group b i'm gonna go and try and mute group b group b is now muted group b is now muted now that has been my range test and outdoor test of the Saramonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2. After the tests, I can say that the Saramonic UW Mic 9 did a great job. Though if you're going to use this in a long distance application, I advise you to set the RF power setting to high because the low RF power setting will only perform well in a short distance because the low setting is made to save battery power. For me, the Saramonic UW Mic 9 has a mid-range boost compared to the low boost of the Rode Roadlink wireless lavalier system. For me, the audio quality of this Saramonic UW Mic 9 is really not that bad and is really usable. Now, let's talk about the price. As of this time of recording, you can get the Saramonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2 with two transmitters for about $399. And I can say that that is insanely affordable compared to the Roadlink wireless leveler set which costs $399 as well, but it only has one transmitter and it relies on Wi-Fi connection. So the Saramonic UW Mic 9 is the better buy. So here are my final thoughts about the Saramonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2. Number one, I like the fact that you can connect up to two transmitters in one receiver at the same time. Number two, I also like the fact that this system is upgradable by buying a separate XLR transmitter in the future. Number three, I like its all metal construction. Number four, I like that the receiver has a headphone out to monitor your audio. Now here are the things that I don't like. Number one, I hate the battery housing because it's made out of plastic. It's too thin. I might break this at some point. Number two, they didn't include a travel case. Number three, I hate the fact that the receiver drain your batteries fast, most especially when you are using both the transmitters at the same time. Now, if you are asking me, do I recommend the Saramonic UW Mic 9 Kit 2? Absolutely. In my 10 years of working in a TV network, I can safely say that the Saramonic UW Mic 9 microphone system produces broadcast quality audio. So I highly recommend the Saramonic UW Mic 9 microphone system. Now that has been my review of the Saramonic UW Mic 9 microphone system. I hope this video helped you in choosing the right dual transmitter wireless microphone kit. If you like this review video and my other videos as well, please consider subscribing. Once again, this has been Rhino Denshal. Thank you so much for being here and see you in the next video.